but did you ever use a sole cap or growing up as a swimmer, what was your experience with swim caps? So I'll kind of tail this a little bit with a story. So when I was swimming, there was a lot of barriers for why black people weren't swimming. Access, financial, swim caps, swimsuits, you name it, there, there was something, you know, we're built differently. Mm -hmm. And what one thing for me is that we are now in an era where we have had companies and organizations that are now saying, okay, there's all these barriers, let's start to come up with solutions. And that's what SoulCap did. Mm -hmm. SoulCap came up with a solution and say, okay, we know that the caps that you wear, which I think you flashed a picture earlier, my, my, I mean, it, it is tight. Like you guys see, I have a lot of hair. That thing would be like this and it's still sticking out here. Yeah. And I had to like do this twisty thing and shove my hair in the cap. Um, you know, so for me, it was definitely for that, you know, that trials particularly, I cut my hair. I oh, wow. sat oh, there wow. and I chopped it shorter because it was just another distraction. And so my biggest beef about this, the soul cap decision was more so about the words that were used as to why the cap was banned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah. said it did not fit the shape of a normal head, mm -hmm. which What's normal? I don't know what that means <laughs> mm -hmm. because I'm pretty sure everybody's head was shaped differently. My Black, white, brown, don't too. matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then they, on top of that, they continued on to say, none of our athletes have a need for a cap like that. And to me, 